Hello and good day, Mike Adcock with an update on Tropical Cyclone Bejeza northeast of Madagascar in the southwestern Indian Ocean. This briefing is based on the 12 Zulu Meteo France Reunion Advisory from the 31st of December 2013. Uh, taking a look at satellite imagery, we see a weaker system from what we saw about six hours ago. The eye here is deteriorating uh, based on the 12 Zulu uh, Meteo France Advisory. This is a uh, 3 p.m. in Madagascar, 4 p.m. there in Reunion. The center of Bejeza was 360 kilometers east northeast of Antalaha in uh, Madagascar, or 770 kilometers north northwest of Saint Denis in Reunion. Uh, center of the cyclone is moving south at 15 kilometers per hour with winds up to 155 kilometers per hour, or 85 knots. Uh, pressure up to 965 hectopascal and a lot of this is based off of again the latest satellite imagery uh, Meteo France again uh, has weakened this system quite a bit from uh, what it was uh, just three and six hours ago and uh, again looking at Dvorak here uh, infrared satellite has showed the deteriorating eye uh, microwave imagery shows the weakening on the western edge of the eye wall uh, so in turn, they're looking at a, a final T of 4.5 and, and a current intensity of 5.0. That's a weakening of about one point over the past six hours. NESDIS, on the other hand, what they're seeing is the forward motion southward uh, is increasing convergence. They're on the south side of the storm, so that's boosting thunderstorm activity. However, it's eroding that eye wall a bit. Um, the eye is uh, medium gray in terms of the uh, color scale here on Dvorak. It's barely embedded enough in the light gray, about 46 kilometers, to get a eye number of 5.0. Uh, so that's the basis of the data T pattern and met uh, agree. So 5.0 is our final T. Uh, because of the weakening rules, the current intensity is held at 5.5. And, and the idea here is, you know, um, you can't just go into doing the Dvorak analysis as a one-time shot. It, it, it's a continuous process. You do it throughout the life cycle of a tropical cyclone. Uh, a storm starts to weaken in terms of satellite and, uh, appearance, but the winds um, tend to stick around a little bit longer. So that's why um, you'll see the current intensity held higher than the uh, final t, uh, t during the weakening phase. And, and although this is forecast to be a short-term weakening phase, nonetheless, it is uh, part of the rules of Dvorak. Uh, JTWC, on the other hand, a little bit stronger. A medium gray eye there, white field. They opted for a 6.0 eye number, uh, reduced a half point because of an eye adjustment, so data t was 5.5. Uh, the model and pattern both were at five so they've opted for the pattern 5.0 there five and a half for the current intensity and then uh, advanced Dvorak take a l uh, advanced Dvorak technique a little bit weaker 4.8 and 5.1 respectively that gets us about 92 knots on a one minute uh, scale taking a look at the surface analysis now this is uh, actually a uh, forecast model from GFS uh, Tip of the hat here to uh, tropicaltidbits.com for uh, the image here, but uh, kind of emphasizes what's going on. Strong area of high pressure off to the southeast of Bejeza. Uh, that's going to again um, be a, a play a role in the uh, life cycle of this cyclone. Um, Ridge is expected to weaken and, and move southward uh, as high pressure rebuilds uh, to the north. That should help promote a southeasterly turn on Thursday and Friday. So that's going to be a threat for uh, Reunion and Maurice uh, on Thursday into Friday. Um, by Saturday, we should start to see the uh, influence of high pressure in the low levels, and this system should start moving back toward the southwest. At that point, should encounter some sheer cooler water, so it should be weakening at that point as we get into the weekend. For the near term, on, on the other hand, you know, yeah, we're seeing this uh, forward motion creating some disturbance in the eye wall. So we're going to get some fluctuations in the current intensity in the in the very near term. But over the next two or three days, as this approach, as the cyclone approaches a reunion, really low shear out there. Um, water temperatures are, are 
awfully warm. You do have the good outflow aloft, so really this system should see some some possible strengthening prior to uh, any impacts to Reunion. Here is the uh, forecast there for Reunion over the next few days. Again, southward until about uh, until about Thursday night. Then we should start to sh see that shift to the southeast, affecting the Reunion. And then thereafter, as we head into the weekend, a shift back to the southwest under weakening conditions. JTWC, very similar scenario. Now you'll notice the intensity here, 105 knots gusting up to 130 knots. That's 195 kilometers per hour with gusts up to 240. Um, this again is based off of the 06 Zulu uh, data when this system was more robust, more pronounced I. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the 15Z data, which should be coming out here shortly, uh, what that 15Z data sh shows. Uh, it may weaken it a little bit, uh, so we're going to continue to monitor the progress of that. Nonetheless, very small eye with this system, although it is uh, vulnerable to these, uh, you know, this this convection to the south here. So we'll continue to monitor the progress of the storm. Nonetheless, should be a strong cyclone. Uh, impacting the uh, reunion, so we're going to continue to monitor the progress of this system. Not a whole lot's showing up on severe weather or on the surface weather plots. Uh, just a couple buoys out ahead of this system, not really reporting much other than some lowering pressures, which is what we would expect. Again, uh, looking over on the east coast of Madagascar, uh, just some uh, cloudiness moving in. Uh, we'll continue to monitor this as well. Showers uh, sh could be affecting the eastern shores of Madagascar as the system continues tracking southward. Of course, uh, you can go ahead and move over to storm2k.org. We're going to be tracking this storm there. You can join in on the conversation. I'll be also posting along at Twitter, at Senior Pepper. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you'd like. Thank you all for tuning in. Be safe. Have a great day and take care.